Hey friends, hey girl, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Hey brothers and sisters in Christ. I tried to record this one time before and I actually did record it, but it was like mumble jumble. So I'm re-recording this word. I'm actually in my car. I just finished uh, running errands. I had to run to the bank. I just ran to TJ Maxx. Um, not sure where else I need to run to or what I feel like doing, but I'm just out and about just enjoying my week off. I have to pack today because I'm pre preparing blah, 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 what? I'm preparing to go travel to my reset location for four days. Uh, me and sister Toya. Um, so yeah, I need to pack tonight too. I don't leave until Thursday, but tomorrow's Wednesday. And I have like a little bit of running around to do, but yeah, my rest and reset vacation. So I'm out just getting some stuff done, running errands and stuff. Y'all, I'm so thirsty. Normally I bring my Stanley cup, but I didn't because I didn't feel like it. Um, so I just got a water out of TJ Maxx. But, um, and I'm hungry, y'all. It is three o'clock and all I had was a egg white sandwich. Well, not even a sandwich. I had egg whites and like turkey sausage and some uh, cottage cheese today. That's all I had. And a little like cracker biscuit thing with my coffee so I can take my vitamins. So your girl is hungry. So I'm going to head home probably and go grab something to eat because I have my like stuffed meal prepped already. And then, yeah, we'll see what the day holds. But not before I give you guys this bonus word because I already gave a word this morning from the 40 Days of Love series. If you haven't caught that word, oh, that word was over an hour long and the Holy Spirit showed up and showed out. Me and my brothers and sisters in Christ had fun on today's live and the, the Lord Jesus was just speaking. It was a very powerful word on so many different levels. Like anybody can grab nuggets from that word because um, there's so many just life things in it. And I hope grandma next to me do not slam into my car because she they park way close to me and I almost hit their car with my door. And I had to slide into my door. Good thing your little, my little slim stallion -y self can just slide on in, right? Uh, good job, grandma. She did not hit my, my car door. Um, so anyways, that, that word was a powerhouse. So if you feel led to go back and watch the live from this morning, go, go. The Lord was speaking loudly in that word in so many different levels. And I believe it set a lot of people free, pushed a lot of people into the purpose that God has ordained and assigned for them to do. God was just speaking so loudly. Uh, so go back and watch if you feel led. Let me turn this music down because who is this? Prince? Yes, it's Prince. And I'm not going to get dinged for you, Prince. Love you, but no. Because um, YouTube will ding. Okay. But this is a quick, really quick word. Um, and I got this word driving this morning, running errands, <sighs> just listening to uh, iHeartRadio. Let me take off the seatbelt since I'm like in the parking lot. Just listening to um, iHeartRadio and um, Cayman Kelly, I think that's his name, who co-hosts uh, Heart and Soul, which is usually what my radio station stays on is Heart and Soul. And he was telling the story about this lady, right? And he's like, I got something to tell y'all. He's like, there's this lady in Alabama who gave birth. And he's like, that's not even it. He's like, I know y'all are thinking like she gave birth. Okay, congratulations. Women give birth all the time. But he's like, I have a word for you guys. And he went on um, to playing his music or whatever. And normally I would have turned on my own uh, YouTube music because it's connected to my Bluetooth and just played my own music when they do commercials or whatever. But I just stayed on the station and he came back and he gave the story and the Lord spoke to me through that and also brought me back to a word that I released previously that I'm going to try to remember to link in the comment section of this word about you guys both birthing multiple promises, birthing multiple blessings. You're carrying multiple seeds. And the Lord gave me that word. I believe I released this word at the end of last year. And I was pregnant with a watermelon. I had given birth to a watermelon. And you know, a watermelon has hundreds and hundreds of seeds within it, 
within the watermelon, right? And the Lord was saying, you guys are birthing multiple. Like, daughter, you're birthing multiple. It's not just the one or two promises that you think I'm birthing through you. Like, I'm birthing the things that you thought I didn't even hear that you prayed about, right? The You have, like, surprise birthings that I'm birthing through you. Things that are just going to shock you and you can't even believe, like, oh my gosh, the Lord just blessed me with this. But he's blessing you guys, whoever this word is for, with multiple blessings. You're carrying multiple seeds. You think it's just the marriage. You think it's just financial blessings. You think it's just that new house. You think it's a promotion at work. You think it's walking into purpose, but it's multiple things at one time. And I also just released the word about a week ago, and the Lord was saying how people consider Mary like the most... uh, uncommon person or that was that even the word yeah so I can't even think of the word guys but she was like the most unlikely person to carry this promise she was a virgin she you know was just about to be married and so forth like she she had never had sex before but yet this angel came to her saying hey God wants you to carry the Messiah like what So she was the most unlikely person to be chosen to carry this promise because she was a virgin. She had never had sex before. Make it make sense. People see my stomach growing, but I'm a virgin, huh? So that made her unlikely. Like he, the way he delivered the promise through her and the promise wasn't just for her. Whatever we carry is not just for us. It's to glorify the kingdom of God. It's to excel the kingdom of God. And even with Mary carrying Jesus, we see that she carried the promise that was for us, right? It was to save millions and trillions. It was to save the world, but one person had to carry it. But her promise wasn't just for her to keep. It was for the glory of the Lord God. And whatever we're carrying, whether we're getting promoted at work, this marriage, a marriage is a ministry. When you're promoted at work and you're making more money, you're able to sow back into the Lord's kingdom and help other people and just... um ground yourself in whatever God puts in front of you. So anything he births through us is not just for us. It's to glorify God and it's for his kingdom. But she was the most unlikely person to be chosen to carry the promise, capital T, capital P, as in the Lord Jesus, right? And he chooses unlikely people. He chose you and me to carry certain things and our family members are like, that's gonna, that's not gonna happen. You're never gonna get married. You're never gonna get a new house. Look at your credit. You're always gonna be, people are watching me. It's so weird. But um, yeah, like we're the most unlikely uh, people to carry. They just looked in my car like, what a weird couple. <laughs> like walk, people walk. But um, yeah, we're, we're an unlikely person to carry what we're carrying because people don't believe it could be done through us. But God's about to show up and show out. And it is going to be done because he said it's going to be done. And we believe it, we receive it, and we walk into it, right? And it's as simple as that. But uh, Cayman Kelly gave this, um, I call it a testimony, but he was telling a story. And this lady in Alabama just gave birth to two daughters. You may say like, uh... Nina, it's that's normal. No, baby, she gave birth to two daughters. Okay, this lady was born with two uteruses. Okay, we only have one uterus as a woman. Okay, less than 0.3% of women are born with more than one uterus. Okay, which means it's completely like one in a trillion billion people. Okay, she was born with two uteruses. So when she conceived, an egg went into each uterus and she carried two babies at the same time, two girls. Okay, so because she carried them in two different uteruses, these uh, two baby girls weren't even twins. They were born on different days. One was born on, I believe, the 29th that night and the next one born the 30th that morning. Okay, and I may have the dates uh, mixed up, Um, but I know they were born, one was born the night before and the next one was born early the next morning and they're not twins they they were born through two different uteruses at two separate times okay so she gave birth she had a two-in-one birthing even though she carried she she was pregnant in the womb with technically like she's carrying she she conceived a pregnancy like she's carrying what normal people carry as one pregnancy right but she got a two-in-one blessing Her babies weren't twins. Most people that carry two babies in the womb, they're twins. Or if it's three, they're triplets or quadruplets. Her situation, totally different. 
Very unlikely. Very unheard of. Very unheard of. An egg went in each uterus. These kids are not twins. She literally had a two-in-one pregnancy, and she gave birth to two separate blessings. They weren't connected together. Twins are together in the womb. These were two separate blessings, and God is speaking so loudly that many of you think you're birthing in one category when these are two, three, four, five, six separate blessings. And you have no idea. You literally think you're just carrying the promise. And there's one. And he's doing it in one area. No, he's doing it in multiple areas. Some of you are getting a two-in-one, a three-in-one, a four-in-one, a ten-in-one. Many of you are birthing several different blessings at the same time that don't even correlate with one another. But it's all for God's glory and it's all going to benefit your life. Many of you are about to walk into the marriage, in the promotion, in the house, in the finances, and you're, you're walking into purpose, and you're building the ministry. All of these things don't even correlate to one particular category or subject. It's multiple different areas, just like her birthing. Again, these, these girls weren't twins. Born on different days, born at different times, born in different uterus from one person. So that is the quick word that I wanted to give you guys. I pray that this blesses you because it blessed me that we are carrying multiples. And you're not going to have to wait a year to get that next promise and two years to get the following. No, many of you are giving birth to multiple blessings that don't even correlate with one another. They're totally different categories. Just like these two babies she gave birth to. They have their own birth dates. They have their own times. They are not twins. Own identities. They're, they're technically separate. They were born separately in the same womb. Different uterus. So, and they came one behind the other. Like that was her Amos 913 moment. One behind the other, so quick your head's gonna swim. Like one behind the other. One was born late that night, the other one early the following morning. One after the other. There was very little time in between. They came back to back. And she was an unlikely, her, her whole situation was unlikely. She was the most unlikely person. Like, who? Two uteruses. You had two eggs that con you conceived at the same time. One egg went in each uterus. Make it make sense. It does not. But God, the way he's about to bless many of you, it's not going to make sense. Not even to you. So that is the word, guys. Let me um, get out of this parking lot so people can stop looking at me. <laughs> Praise God. Because, yeah, I can look at you guys too. We can have a staring competition. Y'all know how I get down. Um, but let me get up off here, y'all. I love you. This is a bonus word. And I pray that this blesses you, whoever it is for. Um, but, yeah, I am hungry. So I need to go home and eat something or whatever. I'm just going to let God lead the way and really enjoy my time off. Oh, get it, girl. Mama walked out with her red sweater, gold pants, a uh, curly wig popping. Okay. Confidence. Come on. Oh, I be cheering everybody on you guys because it's just, why not? But anyway, I love you guys. Have a great day. Let me make sure I don't hit nobody, but I love you and we will talk soon. Okay. Bye guys.